here I'm selling a Heckler and Kosh uh, replica. This isn't to be mistaken for the other model made by KWA. This one, if you read it, holds the world's exclusive HMK trademark and the exterior design copy license for use with product granted by Heckler and Kosh GMBH. So, what does that mean? That means Umarex allows them, KWA, to use for this model exclusively the exterior uh, replication of the actual gun. Things, just little things like uh, made, they made it look like it was like welded up right here and stuff like that. But because of this reason, it's not your entry level gun. They went ahead and did extra stuff. It's a, uh, forget what the stage gearbox is, it's the better stage. It's got a 130 M spring. I'm sorry, I don't need, know a lot about <laughs> airsoft guns, whatnot. Kind of like out of the, the pack there. But I bought it just knowing that it was a badass gun. Nice setup. So, everything on is functional. I've never played in the field with it. Just shot it here in my backyard. But, uh, it claims to shoot 400 FPS, which I can verify it shoots average of that. I've seen it shoot 420, uh, just because my friend had the chrono down the road. And we shot it in his room in the chrono. But, um, it shoots as a, at a high rate of fire because of this. Um, 11.1 volt 2300 milliamp battery. Now this is lipo. This is like not the best, but it's a step down from the best. So this is what's juicing this thing up so much. And it can handle it. It says it's uh, lipo ready, but no gun is really lipo ready. It's just uh, you prefer to have a metal gearbox <laughs> if you're going to use a lipo in your gun. But um, yeah. I don't know if there's a model number on here. You guys can search. I think that's the model number right there, if you can see it. I don't know, I'll put it up for there for you if I find it. But this is the gun. Oh, this right here, by the way. If you're wondering why I have it all battery like bungeed up there because I did have an external battery box it looks like a little laser uh, you, if you're looking at airsoft guns you already know it's a little laser it's a little mount right here you get it for 11 bucks it just looks like looks like a little laser pack and you take this and you slide it into it and you clip it back on and you don't see any of this all you see is the wire <laughs> but um my buddy has the same gun, and what he does is he uh, drilled out a hole out of this little slot and put his wire through there, and it comes up so you only see about like that much of the wire. Either way, it's 11 bucks, and you get a crap ton of performance out of it. So, I'll show you on single. I just loaded the clip, so I might have a misfire there. Okay, so now it's loaded. nice and smooth shooting at 400 FPS real nice right all right so let's go ahead and show you the full auto setting I'll show you that that works maybe a little more open there I think it's a 480 high cap magazine it comes with I'll show you that real quick A lot of people prefer low cap, but they're all, oh, you gotta wind it up. It's like, yeah, but when you're out of bullets, you gotta change your clip. <laughs> Alright. Check it out. Uh, 
as you can see, that is an impressive rate of fire. Shoot over there a little. What's nice about it, you get a long range rifle, if you're doing some uh, CQB, just pop that off, say like we're hiding behind this tree right here, and just be like, nice, see, so you don't have that barrel in your way, the, the stock, right? So you gotta take some long range shots. Just put that right back up. Maybe switch it to single. Be a little bit more accurate. So you wanna shoot that shovel thing. Sorry, but I can't see. Shoot the shovel over there. Nice and accurate. So I need to adjust the hop up on there. You probably saw that, but I have it set up for CQB. I don't want my bullets. My BB is flying off. This is the owner's manual right here. It's uh, again cleans 400 FPS. Full metal gearbox. All metal parts. Everything in this gun is metal. It's got the full auto, semi-auto, 430 high cap, which isn't bad. That's a lot. Um, yep, see? There's that authentic replica that they're allowed to use. Metal barrel. I don't know how long the barrel is. I think it's something like, uh, I think it's a, I want to say it's an 18 inch barrel. I think that's about right, 18 inch barrel. No. Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> Look it up. Um, yeah, blah, 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 blah. It's pretty light, either that polymer. So the serial number. I don't actually know where the serial number is. I'll edit, I'll edit the video for you guys, I'll find out, and uh, I can send that to you.